Yeah, you're on. Hey? Look at the stupid look on your face. Turn around, give me that again. Perry, that, you're giggling like a girl because we're going fishing. I don't know what that is. Look at this bipping sound coming on like an alarm, but it's not an alarm. I don't know what it is. Grass. You'll see those sandy patches around us now and the grass and we're sitting in 10 foot and then we'll go right into the bank which is about one foot okay. and it's just thick sea grass. Well I'll run gulps and you run prawns yep. and we'll, we'll work our way out. I'll explain do I want to be casting. Hey? Which way do I want to be casting? Well that's the thing about the seagrass, it's all about getting the right angle. So we got no lecky. I'd maybe be casting like the wind's pushing us. I'd cast out that way. The change of direction is really important out here. So as like as the boat drifts away, got a little, got a little, little yucky. Well, we're sitting in about five foot. And we'll just drift out to that twelve. This is getting worse as I go. Here we go. Well, that was lucky. Basically, all I'm doing with the gulp, once I get it rolling, it's just this slow sweep like this. Like, I let it sink to the grass, yeah. and then just wind it up, and just wind in the slack and drop. And you'll, you'll feel I'm just tugging along on it. It's pretty easy fish. It's more line watching than anything. You just you're looking for that dump in your line. We'll do one drift. And they're patches like you'll go through a like I'm sure you'll hit a school of brim, then you'll hit a school of leather jacket. Yeah, I'm on. Already? Second cast, yeah. It's not big, whatever it is. But it's just sweeping that. Oh. <laughs> Do we count them as a fish? Just sweeping that gulp. Oh, I seen you had a rag. Oh, uh, yeah. Where'd you bring? Put that. Yeah, it's a good king bait. But basically, that's all it is. It was just a repetitive sweep and drop. Come here. That is a mad bag, right? Yeah. We got our squid. Alright, on the board with the wrong fish. <laughs> but yeah, you'll go through patches. Like I, I believe if, if you gotta catch shit fish like that to catch the good fish. That's why you that's why you get hooked on the brim, because every other fish sort of bites and then the brim scream like that. That's why you get hooked on the brim. All right, if you land this, mate, hawks be prawn. Eh, it's pinky, you mightn't count. Might be still nil all yet. Brim. Actually, no, it's a brim. <laughs> He's one up. There's the rule, she's a bit small, but it's a start. So that's prawn, one brim. Lure, one shit fish, yeah? Yep, that's it. Yeah, well, it's early days yet, mate. Talking to you, Pez. I admit, I just wasn't doing anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah have a look what I got on. Go on. I just put the bail arm on. Bastard. It's a good fish, mate. Is it? Oh, yeah. Fucking well. Dad's <laughs> kids program and language. Oh, mate, reverse just went. It's cheaper. Oh, yeah, this is a good fish. Feels like a brim, but it could be anything. But yeah, I was just looking at you. Um, turn the camera off, drop the bail arm over, like close the bail arm. Oh 
Oh yeah, look at it. What is it? Brim? Yeah. Good brim. Big brim. Yeah, yeah, big brim. Big brim? Yeah, mate. If I land this, it'll be gulp one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, we got no net today, don't we? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a crack. Got one prawn one. Oh, wow. That's the sort of fish that we come for. Yeah. Just goes to show though, like I, I'm just doing nothing at all for that fish. That is just beautiful. Okay. Oops. Comp day, here we come. <laughs> well, it makes a mockery of some things because... Right. That is beautiful. Yeah. Right, now we get pliers. Now that was a gold prawn. 140 of hidden weight. Which is that? Wow. That's our first brim. Just uh, straighten the well. Yeah, I'm measuring too, just get an idea. But I caught him by watching you, mate. He's only 30 to the fork, 31, oh, 31 to the fork. But boy, he's a big one. Like fat. I mean. You going there, mate? That's wrong town, right? We've pulled up here, we've been here less than five minutes. That was we, we got no electric motor. That is just absolutely awesome fish. Well, Pez, you know, like you've heard me how many times have I explained to customers, you come down here, just drift this seagrass. Yep. And it's just and a- you're on the money, mate. That's it's all just, I got to say. It's just a sweep, like a straight type lure. I pass this way, walk it, and we come over it. Yeah. You roll over them and then you're onto them. And see, we've just passed that patch like that would have been a school of brim. Yeah. So we've just, if we've passed and we'll go back and drift again, but I reckon we'll find another one. But for a 30, only a 34, because Jizzy was fat. But I'm, all I'm doing is just letting it, it's almost like, it's almost like squid fishing. I'm letting it, the lure hit the seagrass and then taking it off it. Just, just dragging it off and then dropping again. It's just a sweep. Silver could be prawn two gulp one. Oh no, oh, I just dropped mine watching you. <laughs> oh damn, no, I spilled about that. I should have just sat there and kept watching you. I did. Here we go. Oh, look, they're all over mine. Yeah, here yeah, I got one in its mouth right now. Oh, they're pike. Got him. <laughs> Had the hook it. All right, two brim the prawn, one the gulp, but I've got two pike. So we hit another patch, even though we've gone out a bit deeper. They'd be just legal, so there could be some nice legals in here. There's hundreds of them there. Yeah, put him in the live wheel, keep him alive. I just want to keep one alive. No. No? Oh. If you could kingbait, man, it'd be great kingbait. Yeah, but we won't have enough, we haven't got enough time in the day to do all that. That's oh, all man. I'm thinking. I was just going to say, I just think fishing for brim is one of the better fishing styles. And yeah. I mean, I absolutely love it. it it's it fun is, from the it minute. It's fun, especially with light gear. It really, it re it's just like catching a bigger fish, right, on, on heavy gear, but this is more finesse. Yeah. And it's, oh, I just enjoy it thoroughly. It's just a did he bust you off? Yeah. Because it was wrapped around your rod tip. Was it? Yeah. So he couldn't run the drag. <laughs> big fish. <laughs> no. That's one of those big brim that you wanted to catch. No. Oh well. Put oh well. another prawn on. Do you like my 1956 Bakelite Is whistle? That whistle? Yeah. <laughs> you just see the line go dunk, like that and then you're on yeah. we've got just enough lucky to get around these boats so we get on the other side to start prawning <laughs> you weren't even on the boat 
pinky. I'll just push this around. Oh, oh I nearly tripped over myself. Mm. Not really a thing to do with no electric motor, but we'll improvise. Stonk and brim. Oh, it's just the battery's dead. I didn't get any of that on film. I missed the double hook up. Just show me the fish. Here's your beauty. We had a double hook up on them. I know, man. One on prawn, one on gold. Yep. All right, I'll turn oh, him off and change batteries. Well, that one I had on was a monster, man. So what do we do? We'll drive around? Yeah, we'll drive back. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we got no lecky, so we'll just do drifts. You know what? Go around those boats and just... Yeah. We'll just come in. Well, that was a double on kilos, that one. Yeah, man. It was pretty awesome. A school of, like, kilo brim just sitting on the one stinky old barge. And I, I threw it nowhere near that thing. I threw it in the front. No, nah, yeah, they, they all followed out. I honestly thought I had a kingy on. The way it was carrying on. <sighs> We've got enough for Lecky. Like if you just drop the anchor rope, we got enough for Lecky just to sort of poke us through this stuff. And then we can just use the petrol motor to... Oh, well, yeah, oh straight away. There was one on there. I blew that. I, I, I elbowed it. Blew in big time. Here he goes. Come on. What's... Might be leather jacket. I'll wind in and go straight back in. Yeah, it was a brim. Oh no, little leather jacket bites. It's a little digs. It's all right. Get ready. Did he bait you? Oh, I might have been Taylor in there. Yeah, when you go to set, you just want to like feel the weight. Let it let them load up. Oh, see, I had one. He was holding it in his mouth, and just as I started the sweep, it he let go. You got your one. See, our prawns are got they're pretty. Gulp shrimp and the prawn are pretty on par. A little pinky. That's why. That's why I might let go. Oh yeah, they, look. Oh, I got a better fish. Yeah, yeah, this ain't a pinky. So the gulp versus prawn is pretty well on par, isn't it? Oh, he's a good fish. Not huge like those other ones, but... It's the wrong town, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I got the brim. Oh, yeah. You're nice one. Yep. Now that's what I call a nice pan-sized brim. I really had to wait for him too, like you caught that pinky with the prawn. I felt one hold and let go. I've only got four pound cotton on these, so I've got to get over. Stop that buddy, come here. <laughs> uh, just get in the boat, get in the get boat. In the boat. <laughs> it's not bad considering we've got no lecky, but we're still getting our tally up. Bloody yeah, open the well, I'll throw that one in. He's, yeah. He's just well of it. It's, it's an easy style of fishing because like even if you haven't got a lecky, it proves it today. You just you just drive up these boats, get a wind drift. You can use a bait or a lure. It does the same thing. So far, it's been pretty well on par. When you get a hit, I get a hit. He was way up here, so I imagine. Oh, look at that! Okay, go, bro. Yeah. Go. God. <laughs> I was doing nothing at all. I was stargazing for that fish. He's 
a much bigger one than that last one. Is it? Yes, it's stonker, this thing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. No, I just... No, it's just the way I've got him hooked. Oh, yeah? Still a good one. He's illegal. Oh, no, he's mouth hooked. Yeah. He's all right. Pairs. He's done well. So that's it. We're at the F word. Yeah, I know, but we've got to, like, I'll leave it. I'll do this next one here, and then I'll drive up and go down the other side of that red boat. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look at the brim there, just feeding on the boat. See it? Uh, I'll, I'll, too late. Yeah, you go in. You go, have a go at him, I'll go to the next one. If it was a bit bigger, I'd be in there. So I'm adamant to the, the skip casting with these rubbers as a reaction bite. Otherwise you just spook him. Oh my god! He had a go? Oh. You got him? <laughs> Take your time. He looks a lot bigger than the one I saw. The only reason I got two fish up on you was because you were retying. As soon as you got that bait in the water, you're on. It does, it looks like a good fit. Yeah! <laughs> did you did you honestly think it was gonna be this easy? <laughs> hey? I know, because we talk ourselves fishermen talk themselves up a lot. And I knew you were excited. Yeah, I knew you were excited about coming today and I'm thinking good fish dude. It's a snapper. Good one. Oh, it's a nice pan size. Yeah, that's a dinner snapper. Lovely, jovely. Nice. Yep, that's. Well. I'll give you the ruler. What do we do with it? Oh, yeah. Just let me give it on. Whack it on the reel. Because, I mean, that, that's your perfect eating snapper up there. Your dad's gonna be happy. Thirty-seven to the fork. To no, the thir tip. thirty-one to the to yeah, the fork. 30 yeah, and thirty-seven to the tip. So we'll make Vince happy. Let the real big brim go, but we're not letting this guy go. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, shifty. There's a well full awesome. of guys there. What? Well done, man. You want, oh, to, dude. you want me to drift up and do it again? Yeah, of course. Do you reckon we should hit? Yeah, on the sound of this fish everywhere, so I'd be all pinkies. Oh, I've got the kill. If you just, you can just drop down the anchor rope. Yeah. Because if there's a school there, we'll get both of them anyway. So all I do is just line watch. Start running out of line, I open the bow arm. Oh, 17. We're only fishing about 10 of it, probably six to eight. And then you sort of get into the leather jacket and snapper. Oh. You're on, straight up. Now I had the gulp in and the prawn just got smashed on that one. That's illegal, did he, did he have a mate? All right, we're even again. That's another legal. That's the first time the gulp hasn't got a hook up with the prawn, which is pretty interesting. Oh, you go down the anchor rope. When they disappear off these boats, they're in the seagrass. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. You can't find them. It's like when they're gone, it's like, oh, this one. They're in the seagrass. I'll retake it. All oh, the prawns has just hit the lead, man. Oh, we're not counting that. 
Pinkies don't count in the prawn gulp. But, um, snapper do. Yeah? Yeah. Pinkies and pipe don't. Okay, that's that's only the second gulp I've, I've used today. Know, all day, that's good. Yeah. That's, I think that's the advantage with the gulp over a prawn is you don't have to bait up as much. Yeah, fellas. G'day, mate, how are you? Yeah, yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah. Let's see, red kelpie? Uh, Not all kelpie? Cross kelpie. What is he? Coolie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah kelpie, a little bit of husky in him as well. I was going to say, he's got that sort of small square ahead on him, eh? Sweet. So you're living the dream here, man. <laughs> i tell you what. I've seen when you boys are lifting up the mooring blocks and stuff. Yeah. I've never seen brim like it. They come yeah, from, they, they come, love from, it. don't they? Yeah, yeah. No, you see me if you see a red boat chasing you around, you know why? We've seen this one. Ooh. <laughs> we might be back then. See you, man. And then we'll go look for flathead. So now you've had a little taste of the flats, the grass flats, a little taste of the boats. You draw off. So the wind blows, there's a drop off there. The wind blows these outer edge boats onto the weed bed, like with, when it's blowing this way, or the run out tide. Oh, there's one. Oh. He chased me out too. Yeah. Still a couple through the seagrass. Yeah, we got all those big sand patches out here, so see them like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sort of want to land in the weed and then roll it into the sand. As soon as I got in here, pike. Where'd you get it? Pike. That's alright though, every time we got pike, we've got brim. There's about six of them under him. Like I said, that's probably why the king's rolling. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, yeah, that's one. Stargazing. Yeah. Not huge, huge, but he's illegal. No, little thing. It's all right. This must be one of the bikes before. But that's Pike, Pinky. It's only a matter of time before we hit the brim again. Definitely yeah. moved up with the tide. Ah, oh, that was a, that was the brim. You can tell it. I don't know. I'm off. Ah, no, it was brim. It was seen it silver. sit on all these boats. Oh really when the tide wet runs out. Runs out, yeah. Game on. 
I was, yeah, I know, we've got to go. But the good thing about here is that the ramp's just there. So. I was going to say, come in this side. Oh, oh. No, I'm, oh, I'm already on. Oh, shit. Look at him, savage. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting that. That's, that was just pretty, pretty intense. Well, there was a bit of weight on that. I didn't realize I was actually had a fish on, but that's all right. There'll be plenty more where that come from. He was stride up the guts beside that boat. That would have kept done it for me. That would have been enough. But yeah, throw back in on that pole. I backed off, I thought he was gonna brick me. Did you? Yeah. In that outside pole. Oh, there'll be more. They're savage down here. So we drove all that way to pick water for nothing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That one was a bit, a bit better than that. Drive us around the corner. And there's a can of drink in the drink holder just next to you. That was a monster, man. That was a cracker. Oh. Hey, just give him a few herbs. She you knows it doesn't like going slow. Let's go around the front. Do this few and go home. And do it. It's too, the bite's too good here to leave now. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have pulled up. That was our biggest mistake. Well, look, is it mine already? Yep. <laughs> it's just wrong, isn't it? It's only little. No, he's all right. Compared to that one, I just dropped that. Uh, yeah, he is, but I mean, not compared to what we've had in the well. That took seconds. Ouch. No, you don't want those ones. You don't stay there, I'll get out of way. See how quick it is? It's like, they're hiding under these structures, so it's, it's like you slide it in, they're there, the line goes tight. You're on. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's me flathead for dinner, eh? acting like a flathead. I need one good flathead for my dinner. And there he is. Oh, we haven't got a net. Oh, look what's behind him, big whiting. Oh, the brim, brim. Look, 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 oh, they just spooked on the... Did you lose him? Did you lose my dinner? Bear, stop swearing. See all the brim that were behind it? The five, 10 minutes in here just gives you a taste of how good Barrow is. You know, like imagine we spent the session in here, we would have cracked it too. Look, there's one, they're feeding there, see him? There's three, four, five on the wall. Big, there's a couple of big ones. Man, no, he's stonkers, I think I'm, oh no, I'm on. Oh, I missed him. He took it. Yeah, oh, and again. Yeah. Right, it's about 45. Where is he? It's in that bucket there. Oh, nice. Oh, well done. Beautiful. <laughs> we, got, we got some stonking brim. Yeah, well, underneath there is some decent brim. Yeah. <laughs> well done, guys. Anyway, that's awesome. 
<sighs> oh, mate, wait till you, if you get in one, yeah. you'll want one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not flat, flat stick, but you'll break it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what they say, who dies with most toys wins. That's exactly right. 